Welcome to POV Builds, I'm your host Mike, but today we're going to be looking at the Xeon Phi coprocessor. Not to be confused with the Larrabee, the Phi was used in many of the recent top 500 supercomputers and in the right hands is quite a powerful tool. Despite its looks, it's not a graphics card, it has no outputs, just an 8-pin and a 6-pin connector. Uh, 61 cores, 4 threads per core. 30 megabyte cache with a listed speed of 1.1 million kilohertz. Well, that's not as fast as it sounds. 1.1 gigahertz isn't fast enough to play games, and it won't get you more FPS than your favorite FPS. However, it is fast enough for the maths it is tasked with. Uh, if your 4 gigahertz CPU is a backhoe, the Phi is an army of workers with shovels. The Phi can run in either offline mode, where the main application is running on the host and it offloads some of the work to the cloud processor, or native mode, where the application runs independently on the Phi and can, can communicate with the main processor and other processors. I highly recommend reading Test Driving the Intel Xeon Phi by Fang, Sips, Zhang, Zhu, Che, and Varbanescu where they get into great detail about the performance and the pros and cons of the Phi. AI research and life sciences still benefit from the obscene amount of cores. Although you still have to sweet talk the Phi into processing your data, it's not like the Tesla where you have to do some heavy lifting just to get it to run. This Phi is a special one, model 71S1P. Based on my research, it's the 7110P with only 8 gigabytes of memory. Made in late 2012, this special order card was on its way to China when the American government stepped in and blocked the sale. As a result, this uh, this hit the market with the steep discount. So I can unironically say, thanks Obama. Now, the average user might not want this or even know how to use it, but this could be an excellent addition to your workstation. Many of the fives of varying models still can be found online if you're lucky enough to find someone willing to part with one. That's all I have for you today. Join me next episode where I'll talk about the Tesla coprocessor. Thanks for watching.